In this video, we're going to start the setup of our autoresponder system. Now, before I go any further, I should mention a couple things. First of all, this is being shown as, as being set up as just a standalone autoresponder separately from anything else, but you could also do this within your own blog. So if you've already got a WordPress blog set up, you can add an autoresponder right into that by installing the plugin that I'm about to show you. Okay, so if you already have a blog and you want to put the autoresponder within that blog, you can do that. But I'm showing you here just a standalone installation. Okay, so the first thing I always like to do is make sure that everything's up to date. So I go into updates and then I'm going to update the to the WordPress version that is the most current. So it'll do that just like that. Okay, let's go back here and back to updates again. And then let's select plugin and update. And then back to updates. And we're going to select the themes and update. Okay, and now we're starting with everything up to date. Now that we've done that, you can never go back to Fantastico and do anything with this blog again. You could uninstall it from there, but don't try and update it from there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is take the footprint for Fantastico out of this, out of the directory that this is in. Okay, so let's we can we can do that either from our cPanel using the file manager or we can do it using a FTP client like FileZilla. I'll just show you using FileZilla. FileZilla is a free FTP client you can download and with that you can upload and download files to your server. You can rename them, delete them and so on. So let's open up FileZilla here. Okay so this is FileZilla. On the left side here this is the files that are on your computer so you can navigate on this side to where you your files are that you want to upload if you're doing an upload. On the right this is going to be where your server will appear. So to get to your server you type in your domain name under host here and the username and password of your hosting account. There's also a site manager and if you use a site manager all your domains can be stored in there and then you can just click on them to connect. Okay so I'm going to connect up Okay, so there's my autoresponder directory where I've installed this. Now what you want to do is this one that says fantversion.php. Let's delete that. Just hit the delete key and get rid of it. Okay, now it has gotten rid of the footprint that Fantastico can leave in there. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Okay, now what we want to do is install our essential plugins here. So let's, well, first of all, even if, even though this is an autoresponder site, you still are going to want to do a proper home page. Okay, so let's do that first. Let's go back to dashboard and let's go into posts, all posts. Let's trash this. And pages, all pages. And trash this. Now, just to reiterate, I'm using this as a standalone autoresponder. If you're doing this on your blog, of course, you don't have to do this step. Okay, so I'm going to add new now, a new page. And then I would do something here talking about my company name. And then I, I'm going to put an opt-in form on here a little later. Okay, so I'm about and your company name here. and then your intro down here. Okay, now up here you have screen options and discussion. Let's turn discussion on here so we can see and then let's turn off the allow comments and allow trackbacks. Let's publish. 
Okay, now we want to go to settings and then we want to go to reading. I'm going to set this to a static page and the front page is going to be the one we just built. Okay, very simple. And then we're going to go to discussion and we're going to turn off the discussion. So tap to notify blogs allow link notifications, allow people to post comments. Turn that all off for your standalone autoresponder. Okay, so once again I'm going to say it, if you're using your own blog you don't have to do any of this. Uh, and that'll be the last time I'm going to remind you of that. Okay, we're, we're talking about standalone autoresponder built on WordPress in this video series. Okay, so there we go and we'll save the changes. Okay, so really, we have our simple site set up here. And you could go and change the theme if you want or anything else you want to do, but I'm not going to. Uh, that's good enough for my autoresponder site. So let's go back here. Let's go to plugins. And we're going to go add new. And then what we want to do is search for a certain plugin. Okay, and the plugin we want is called WP Responder. So we're going to search the plugins. No, that's not quite right. Okay, so we want to search for WP Auto Responder. Call it search. There we are. WP Auto Responder and Newsletter plugin. So we're going to install that. and activate. Okay, so you need to do what it says here. You need to set your address in the newsletter settings page. So let's just do that right now. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are going to comply with can spam. So you need to put your address in here, whatever your business address is. Okay, so this will appear at the bottom of all your emails. Okay, and if you want to put a logo in your emails, you can just put the URL to where you have it uploaded here. Okay, sometimes you may get a notification from the publisher of the plugin. You can either send it to the email address that is set up for your account, or you can send it to another email address. So if you just want to send it to a junk email address, you can you, you can just use send to this email address here. Okay, enable instruction emails after activation and enable important update news and up to the notification email address. You can just leave those enabled or disable them if you like. It, it's just all part of this this uh, activation of notifications up here. Okay, now what I was talking about earlier is the email limit. So you have an hourly email limit. So you need to find out from your hosting provider what that is. They usually have it on their help page. But using HostGator, the maximum you can send out hourly from your whole account is 500. So if you have other things sending out emails, you're going to want to reduce this. Let's put 350. Okay, so now this is going to throttle it up. And make sure that we don't over tax the server and get our account deleted or suspended. Now down here you can use an SMTP server if you want. What's going to happen otherwise is going to just use your default server on your account, on your hosting account. So if you want to use an external STP, SMTP servers, you put it in here. So let's save the settings. Okay, at this point we have the plugin installed and we have the initial bone set up here. In the next video, we're going to go through actually setting up our newsletters and broadcasts.